What's up, y'all? It's Timmy, and in this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make a propane fire pit, so let's do it. Welcome to Truck House Lab, baby. guys today we're gonna make a homemade propane fire pit because the place I'm going the festival this weekend Overland Expo you can't have a fire pit but you can have a propane fire pit so you need yourself a couple wrenches you need yourself a regulator three eighths you need yourself three eighths propane line probably around 15 feet you're gonna need a bucket to contain the fire a bag of lava rocks then for the piping this is all three eighths an inch piping right there all the way to the end so I've got two three inch pieces one six inch piece two couplings one end cap you're also gonna need some Teflon tape so we're gonna wrap all these threads it'll just make sure nothing leaks so let's put all this together just like you see it here what I'm gonna be doing though I need to drill holes in my pipe first I'm gonna drill a hole every inch and a half with a 1 16th inch drill bit and that's where the propane is gonna come out the flame and then we're gonna mount that to the bucket here. Since it's round, it's gonna be hard to drill. There you go. There's one hole, gonna do it about every inch and a half or so, so I'll probably put four holes in this little piece here. So we're gonna take some Teflon tape, wrap the threads, just a couple wraps around, nothing crazy. I'm gonna make it too thick. Once again, this just keeps, uh, keeps everything from leaking. Sorry I'm doing this in the Tractor Supply Company parking lot. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the end cap, the end cap on there. So, alright, nice and tight. So you get four holes in that six inch piece there. And put a, the coupling on there. Alright, and the coupling's on. So we're going to take the next one here. Let's go ahead and thread that. Tip on tape again. Put this little three inch piece inside the coupling. And same thing here, we're gonna drill some more holes in this one. So we get six holes and about a nine inch piece here. You could do use anything you want. You don't need all this couple and stuff. You just need a pipe and a cap on it. So drill those holes about an inch and a half, like so. All right, then what we're gonna do, we're gonna mount this into the bucket. So we're gonna draw a hole um, basically on each side. So I took the end cap off. I just took this, uh, my piece right there. It's gonna be spitting out the flames, drop it in the bucket till it kind of stops. And I'm going to want to drill below that a pretty good bit. Uh, that way these threads can poke out and I can screw the end cap on to lock it in place. It'll be going like that. And I'm going to twist this in like so and put the end cap on there. So you guys can see this, the piece is locked in there with the end cap now. All right, you can see I've got my hole in the other side of the bucket. So we're going to push the other end of this through here. Like so, you can see it's right there. And then we're going to put the coupling on this. And then same thing now, we're just gonna tighten this up. And there you have it guys, there's the basics of it right there. So get your little bucket. Here's an end cap on this side, all your holes all the way across, and then a coupling on this side. Now we're gonna take this nipple piece here and put some Teflon tape in that. Thread that in here. And this is just getting the rubber hose further away so it doesn't burn it. You nice to have some pipe wrenches. This will do in a pinch. So now we're going to get out our propane hose here. This is a 15 footer. That way the propane tank can be really far away. And we're going to get out our regulator. It's a low pressure one. And you're going to connect your male side to the regulator here. Thread that in. There you go, just like so. All right guys, so once again, this is the setup. You get your regulator. I've got a 15 foot hose and it goes into a 3 8 uh, nipple there, 3 8 coupling, another 3 8 nipple, 3 8 coupling, and a six inch uh, threaded pipe right there. So I've got a 20 pound bottle. I'm gonna 
used to power this pit, but this is just my tiny test one right now. So it should be it right there. Let's fire it up and see how it works. And just like that, we have a fire pit. So all I'm gonna do is fill this with uh, lava rocks. And uh, you can adjust the flame right here off the propane tank. Like so. so, pretty sweet. Make a really tiny flame or big flame. There you have it, y'all. That's how you make a homemade propane fire pit. Pretty simple. Uh, doesn't cost too much to do and uh, pretty cool. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my content. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace, y'all.